But speaking of anchor man, okay, this is the connection from the UFO Vatican archive. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Um, I came across this yesterday, and it was the craziest coincidence. So I was watching the Y files, and he was talking about the structure that was found in 1994 called the Go. Uh, shoot, <laughs> Go home. Okay, Go. Let me just see it. He found a structure, or they found a structure called the Go Go <laughs> Go Go Blecky Go Go Blecky. That sounds right. Go Blecky. Goblecki, the Goblecki Tepe, all right? Okay, Goblecki Tepe. Yeah, I'll and just... it totally has thrown off archaeology because you know how we've talked about how we're finding new things yeah. every day that like go against the narrative Contradict, of like yeah. uh, what archaeology has always taught us and yeah. stuff, totally. you know? Yeah. So um, archaeology, they've been teaching for since I don't even know when that the Sumerians are the ones that had the first written language and they're like the, the first fully civilized group of people. Not Mesopotamia? Uh, Sumerians. I don't know. That's just what they're, it, that's just what it is. Um, but they found the Gobleki Tepe, which is a structure that dates back to 11,600 years ago. And mm. at that time, uh, these archaeologists are saying that was that was when man was like gathered hunters and like they lived in like mud huts and caves and stuff. Cool. Yeah. But this thing is this. I think they said it's a hundred thousand square foot temple, and it has these giant sixteen foot pillars in the middle of them, and they're all what? Well, I was trying to let her know that it is in Mesopotamia. Oh, was, oh, it exists in Mesopotamia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're both right. Sumerian. All right, cool. Yeah. We're both right. Sorry for throwing um, you off. But these pillars, they weigh up to like 10 tons each. And they have these intricate carvings on them, which totally goes against the fact that yeah. like, yeah. and this, so that this temple existed 6,000 years before the Sumerians. Oh boy. 6,000 years before the Sumerians and 7,000 years before Stonehenge and the pyramids. So this thing is. These are all predated before those. Yes. How is that possible? Listen to this. This is crazy. Do we have pictures of it? Uh, yeah. Do you okay. pull up uh, Gobleki Tepe? Good luck spelling it. G O B E K L I, and then T E P E. That's wild. Um, but the, it's in Turkey, right? Okay. Um, Thanksgiving. Where's Mesopotamia? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but so what they found that was so crazy is that the oldest pillar. That's where they dated it back to eleven thousand six hundred. Uh, years ago, but the newest pillar uh, is 10,500 years old. So this thing had been standing for yeah. over a thousand years. Wacky. <clears throat> okay, but here's where it gets crazy. It's um, like a little Stonehenge. Yeah, but it's like way more intricate. It's like there's like what they found, there was like these four chambers and they're all <laughs> facing the star Sirius, but the the temples, they like change direction because over a thousand years, the star in the sky, you know, changes because yeah. we're moving through the universe and stuff. Jeez. So they're like gradually moving these temples. And, um, what's really crazy is that these, um, carvings and stuff have these very intricate layouts of the star constellations. Yeah. Okay. And there's the star constellation. Uh, it's called like the Volk, uh, vulture stone. Um, it like depicts the alignment of the stars and the sun. And it was almost a prediction. No, it almost, it was a prediction of when the flood was going to happen. So the flood in theory that the whole world talks about, every culture <gasps> has a flood story that happened 5,000 years ago. This pillar is 11,000. Yeah. And this is, this is the connection I'm getting to. And then some of the pillars had, carvings <clears throat> of um, humans, animals, and then human and animal hybrids. Oh, yuck. Right? Yeah. A lot of what the Book of Enoch talks about. Yeah. Of like the teaching of the stars yeah. and the heavens and stuff, Before you know? Or the flood as well. Um, and then there's one pillar, and it's the only pillar that has a word inscribed on it. It's okay. the only one. And it just says God. <gasps> and it's just, it's the craziest looking stuff. And they said they've only unearthed 
um, five percent of this oh location. Oh my gosh! So, it, but it's so it's underground. You're saying it was very far underground. But here's where it gets crazy: is that it was buried intentionally, <gasps> so it was just hidden for who knows how long? Well, maybe how ten thousand years. How do they know intent of the way that the dirt they can? Falls? You could the, like they showed like how it like um had like. I don't know how they can do it, but it showed that it was like basically like they're throwing in rocks and dirt to like cover this mm. thing yeah, up. To fill it all in. Um, Why would they do that? Maybe this, to protect it from the flood? What? Like to anchor it or something? No, I, I, they buried it well after it was made. No, but because they knew the flood was coming. No, it was. So this, this is what I'm getting, flood, this right? what I'm oh, getting okay. to. This is the connection that I made. So the Wi Files, he was talking all about this. You guys should go watch it. It's very fascinating. Um, but uh, I was listening to a podcast yesterday that one of my friends put me onto. It's called uh, Ancient Conspiracies. And right now she's going through the Book of Enoch and stuff. And I was listening to it literally after watching the Y Files on the way home. And she mentioned towards the end of it. So the Book of Enoch, for those Just who've joined. listened to our stuff, it talks about the watchers coming down or the fallen angels and them basically perverting the ways of God. So, um, splicing DNA together to make these abominations of like, you can call it like mermaids and like all this kind of crazy stuff. They don't actually say mermaids, but fish and human. Yeah. Just up uh, are just perverting God's creation. And then, but they taught the people, um, astrology and root cutting and all this crazy, crazy stuff. Um, a lot of the stuff that was depicted on these pillars. Yeah. And they also said, which is crazy, that the oldest pillars, the carvings on them, like so the ones that are 11,600 year, years old, the carvings are way more intricate than the newer ones. So it's almost like they were so advanced a thousand years before. So it's like they digressed almost. Yeah. There's, yeah. And instead of it being a progression... It was almost like a, a regression. Yeah. Um, and you should look at, there's one carving where it's literally the stone and it has like a tiger or something like, like three dimensional popping off of it. It's wow. insane looking. The, the thing that I'm finding while I'm looking all of this up, is it's interesting is that they think that the temple was aligned with the stars and in the worship of a deity, but the deity they describe is maybe influenced by a bull. So it's a horned deity, which is really just... That's weird. Yeah, it's trippy. This is the connection I made. So she was talking about the um, Book of Enoch, and then towards the end of this episode, it was like episode 30 or something, she talked about the Book of Jubilee, which uh, was in the Bible at one point, but when the canon was made and yeah. stuff, it was taken out. Mm -hmm. And the Book of Jubilee yeah. was supposedly <laughs> written by Moses, like mm. his own hand. Um, but it was in, uh, the book of Jubilee, um, where was it? Book of Jubilee chapter eight. And it talks about, uh, the son of Ham. So yeah, it would be Noah's grandson. He, oh crap. I just exited. Oh, here we go. So he, the, the flood was over yeah. they're off the ark and, uh, the son of Ham was born. I forget his name. Let me look it up real quick. Cause I think it's important. Turkey. <laughs> His name was uh, Canem, K-A-I-N-A-M, Canem. But it said, um, chapter 8, verse 2, And the son grew, and his father taught him writing, and he went to seek for himself a place where he might seize for himself a city. Mm. So you'd imagine that they, they're they like the only people in this area, yeah. and so they're like, I can just go get whatever city I want, right? Yeah. So to seize himself a city. He found a writing which former generations had carved on the rock, and he read what was thereon, and he transcribed it and sinned owning to it. For it contained the teachings of the watchers in accordance in which they used to observe the omens of the sun, the moon, the stars, and the wow. signs of heaven. So is he talking about that? That's where I'm like, is he talking about that? Listen to this. So that the Gobleke Tepe, tepe yeah. is in Turkey. Yes. They discovered what they are pretty darn sure was Noah's Ark was found in Turkey. <gasps> 
It's Remember entirely yeah. possible. Entirely possible. Dude. And I looked it up. So the ark was discovered on a mountain called Mount Ariat. Mm-hmm. A R A R A T. Ariat. Yeah. I guess. Which is in Turkey. That's 404 miles away from these pillars. And so I'm like, did this dude walk this distance? You know, because like I, you would probably set up camp where your boat is, you know? Yeah. So he went out to seek a city and found these these writings written on wow. stone that were from the watchers, these fallen angels. Mm-hmm. And he knew he wasn't going to tell Noah because Noah would lose his crap. Yeah. Because he they just, it. the reason the flood came was because the fallen angels perverted all of mankind. Yeah. You know, it's like they. Except. Huh? For one man. Noah. Yeah. Um. But then, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to understand God's strategy, but you would think that he would ensure that something like that would be destroyed in the flood. But what if they came after? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, no, that's what I was getting to because it was a structure, right? Yeah. Um, and what I thought of like, we can't repeat what just happened with the fallen angels in this like evil that spread across the world, Mm -hmm. the whole place was buried intentionally. (gasps) I see. I wonder if he went back and covered it up. Well, no. Well, I mean, if there's a flood, if there's a worldwide flood, that's things probably getting covered up mostly anyway through. I'm saying that he, he potentially found these pillars after the flood. So it wasn't covered. Okay. Yeah. 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 But I think Noah, I'm just totally speculating because I have not read the book of Jubilee. Yeah. Found it out, said, we cannot repeat this process, and they went and buried this thing and said, we do not want anyone to ever see this ever again. Interesting. That's so my connection. Is that a good connection? I think, I mean, it's yeah. it's a I, good, it's I, not I, like you're stretching. I mean, like, these are dots that are out there that there's they've made no sense of, and yeah. I feel like that seems pretty probable. 400 miles away from where the ark is. It's far, yeah. but it's not that far. Are these things that are ancient. Yeah. And they have basically the same scribe of these images of the stars, the heavens, all this knowledge, these uh, crossbreeding of animals and humans. How do you? How are they that advanced that early? That's the crazy thing. People like the fallen angels. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I don't understand how people don't question that. Yeah, the fact that we still don't know how the pyramids were completely made. Like that's all. And with that, like, there's so many things we're we're just not asking enough questions. But so I, just, I, that I wonder was, if anyone's ever made that connection before. I don't know. We need to reach out to Y Files guy. Yeah, because I don't know how much Bible stuff he does, but I'm like, I feel like we could, that could slowly start making connections. If we're like, this is ancient confirmed literature. What does that mean? I just it's crazy that those stones, like it, he literally said, he found a writing which former generations. Yeah. So we're talking hundreds and hundreds of years before him had carved on the rock. And it read what was there on, uh, blah, blah, blah. It contained the teachings of the watchers, the fallen angels, yeah. in accordance with which they used to observe the omens of the sun and the moon and the stars and all the signs of heaven. That's wild. literally what's on these pillars. But there was only one word. One word, which was God. God. So all of that information being conveyed is all our uh, supposition based on picture reading but maps they'd had maps like of stars they had they have like they had other things besides their they had but literally the the, the vulture stone which is that's what they call it i was looking at it that's that's a actual uh um what do you call it star constellation yeah constellation but they had just all these different constellations like the scorpion which is another constellation and like all this crazy stuff and i'm just like dude that that connection to me i'm just like that's wild Yeah. yeah But that 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 site was discovered in 1994, and they're like I think recently 2023 is when they unearthed like a ton more, and saw all these different pillars and stuff. Weird. And I'm just like, I love that we're getting more stuff. Yeah, like more stuff is coming out. Things that like that aren't being made new. It's like, it's like let's let's start looking at this stuff that's existed for years. Yeah, yeah. Let's start trying to get some answers. But there's they, this is only the Gobleke Tepe is only one site. They said around that whole area there's other little temples like it yeah. wow. but not as advanced because they're actually closer to us in timeline okay but one of them had um like 
beads, like jewelry and stuff, which, um, but it still doesn't add up to or line up with what archaeology said of like when they started making jewelry and all that stuff. But it's like precision work, like bead work and stuff, which is one of the fallen angels taught that knowledge too. Yeah. yeah. Golly, man. That's fun. Yeah. That is super fun. That's like, that's something we got to keep our eye on. We got to figure out the new updates at that place. Yeah. How hard would it be to go go there? I don't know. Go Bleke Tepe. Go Bleke Tepe. Hey, you, you were struggling at the beginning, but that, now you got hey, it. Now I got You're it. Speaking <laughs> I got it, baby. <laughs> go Bleke Tepe. Yeah. Go Bleke Tepe. Hey, go Bleke Tepe. I was reading. It says the G is silent. Oh. Odd. Just kidding. <laughs>